Welcome to our lecture online and now let's talk about the different kinds of triangles that you will encounter in geometry. So first of all a triangle, and that's a symbol for a triangle, is the union of three segments, there are three line segments, which join three non-collinear points. You take three points that are not on the same line, you connect them with three line segments and you have yourself a triangle. The different types of triangles, and we have five different types of triangles here, but two the same with two different names, and you'll see in just a moment why. The five different types are the isosceles triangle, which means two of the sides are congruent or the same length. That's what that means, congruent. So here we have an example where two of the sides have a measure of four, and then here is the base of the triangle, measure of two. But since those two are the same, we call it an isosceles triangle. The two legs are the same. An equilateral triangle is where all three sides are congruent. So all three sides have the same length. And so here you can see an example where each of them have a measure of three. A, an acute triangle is where you have three acute angles. An acute angle means angles of less than 90 degrees. So that means in an acute triangle, all three angles are less than 90 degrees. But remember, with a triangle, all angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So when you add these three angles together, you do have 180 degrees, but none of them are 90 degrees or higher. So therefore, this is called an acute triangle. An obtuse triangle there is a triangle that has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees. By necessity, since they have to add up to 180 degrees, you cannot have two obtuse angles in an obtuse triangle because two angles greater than 90 degrees would add up to more than 180 degrees, so you can have more than one. But if you have one of them being more than 90 degrees, it's called an obtuse triangle. A right triangle is a triangle that has one angle equal to 90 degrees, or in other words, it has one right angle. So a triangle with one of them being 90 degrees, and of course, by necessity, you can only have one of them with 90 degrees. There's no way there can be two with 90 degrees, because then you have a triangle. So if there's one with a 90 degree angle, that's called a right triangle. And finally, we have what we call an equiangular triangle. A triangle that has the same three angles, all three angles are the same, by necessity, there must be 60 degrees because they have to add up to 180 degrees. But notice that an equiangular triangle, and back here, an equilateral triangle by necessity are the same triangle because if they have the same angles, they must also have the same sides. If they have the same size, they must also have the same angles. So they end up being the same type of triangle, just two different names to denote the same type of triangle. So here you can see those are the names that we use for the different kinds of triangles in geometry.